So today we're going to prove the quotient rule of differentiation using the product rule and a little bit of the chain rule. So it's actually a really interesting uh, proof. So here we have the quotient rule, the product rule, and notice how I use a's and b's. They're both functions of x. I just don't want to have to write a of x, b of x, etc. So I just, just for simplification, but these are the rules that you should know. Okay. So we're going to start with a function uh, dx of a over b, okay? a over b is simply just this, and normally we would use the quotient rule to solve this, but what if we try to use the product rule to solve it, okay? So again, they're functions of x, so it's not like just a and b, it's technically f and g of x. So we can actually convert this to say dx of a times one over b, right? So one over b is just, it, I mean, it's the same as dividing by b, right? Uh, and then we can convert this further to say a b to the negative one. This makes it a lot easier for us to use the product rule. And as you can see, we have the chain rule here with the negative one. Um, and so now we can actually take the derivative of this using the product rule, okay? so. Uh, first, we start with our uh, derivative of the first term, which is just a prime, right? Uh, and then we just write out b to the negative 1, b to the negative 1. Uh, then we add, oops, let's say that. Then we add a, uh, we add b prime, which we have to use the product rule for. So I'm going to put the negative 1 to the front. I'm sorry, the uh, chain rule. <laughs> Uh, we put the negative one to the front, and then we have this b to the negative two, uh, and then we have to have this b prime. The reason why we have the b prime is because b is a function of x, it's our g of x, and so it's like g of x to the negative one power, just rewritten. Um, so b prime, uh, and then we have to multiply by a, which is simply just a, right? Okay, we're going to divide that. Oh, actually, no, 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 we don't divide that. This is not the quotient rule, this is the product rule, okay? And so we can actually, um, so we have this b to the negative one and this uh, b to the negative two, so we can make this, we can turn this into a division. So this, this is all just a prime over b plus, actually no, it's a minus, because we have a minus there, so it's minus, uh, we have this b prime a, b prime a over b squared. And if we want to put this over the common uh, denominator here, we can just go b over b. We can multiply this term by b over b, which turns out to just be 1, but we're just, you know, re -re rewriting it, okay? So this turns into, I'm going to just rearrange this, a prime b minus b prime a all over b squared. And we have this, a prime b minus b prime a over b squared, and that is our quotient rule. So I'm just going to put a check mark that we complete our proof. And yeah, this is where the quotient rule comes from. It's, it's just like a rewritten product rule with some extra steps in a way that you can take the derivative of. And you can choose any example. Um, you can choose any, any example to figure this out and then work it out that way, and it'll work. So yeah. That's uh, a cool way to do it. And if you forget the quotient rule, if you need to remember it, but you, for, but you forget it and you have a problem where you have to use the quotient rule, you can just use the product rule and turn it in. As long as you know how to use the product rule and the chain rule, which are a lot easier to remember, you can definitely work out a problem like this. So yeah, that is the quotient rule. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.